Right, greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? Camera seems a little high. Um, I am making uh, lasagna today for cast iron cooking. Uh, cast iron Wednesday. This month's challenge is pasta. So, I thought, ooh, lasagna sounds awesome. It's one of my favorite meals. Now, we'll be honest, I... The last few times I made lasagna, I didn't like how it came out. But, um, you know, it wouldn't be a challenge if I was always going the easy route. So, I'm gonna, I'm warming up my pan. I'm gonna ground my, brown my ground beef. And I got this, uh, oven ready lasagna. And I'm gonna be baking it all in my Dutch oven. And I'm gonna, <clears throat> yeah, let's get to it. All right. I'm intentionally kind of making this easy. Not a ton of complicated ingredients. So, I just put a little water. This is uh, Italian sausage and garlic. I hadn't seen that flavor before, so I had to, I had to get it. Come on, ground beef. Gotta add a little seasoning to it. I'm gonna go with the uh, garlic and herb. Some paprika. About that much. And I got some old bay just because. Alright, so I've uh, been busy grating my cheese. Got my sauce on. I'm gonna call it with the hamburger or ground beef. that in there. Alright, I think it's time to start building. I do want to spray the, not so much the bottom, but the sides. So, to help the sides not stick. Okay. I'll put sauce on the bottom. This isn't a square pan, so it's going to be interesting with the pasta, but I might have a way around it. Maybe. If not, well, actually those, those fit in there pretty well. Alright. Go with two. Then we got, I got some ricotta. Not cottage cheese, it's actual ricotta. Not to just goop it in there, but try and spread it out amongst the pasta shell and things. But as you can see, it's being no, 
mozzarella. I'm gonna alternate the layer. You're just kind of alternating layers here. I'm sure my technique is not as... I may be using too much ricotta too. cheesy lasagna. Alright. Maybe the last layer here. Put the sauce on. I'm out of sauce now. I hope. Yep. I literally have just four sheets left, so I think I'm just going to put them all on there. Use them up. Oven's heated up. remainder of the mozzarella on there and then I'm also going to top it with not a lot but some cheddar cheese as well just just to put it on top there we go I'm gonna do is I want to I want to make sure it's airtight. So I'm gonna put foil over the top. Just to make sure I seal everything in. Because I think the problem I, I ran into is I didn't bake it long enough. And I also didn't um, I didn't foil it so it, all the moisture would stay trapped in there and help cook the noodles. And then I'm going to put a lid on it, I'll seal the foil, cool, let's uh, get it in the oven. Ah, I might have to lower that shelf down one more. There we go, and then drop my oven mitt. 
So 45 minutes and then I'll bring you back and uh, remove the foil, show it to you, and then do another 15 and then it should be done. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Oh, sorry, kick the leg. Okay. The heat is going right through the towel. Woo. I guess you can't see that. Uh, there she is at 45 minutes. Not looking too bad. Let's uh, pop it in for another 15. Crisp it up. So I'm gonna steam out. Make sure you fold your towel this time because I only had like one. <sighs> Come on. One layer in it. It was, uh, heat was going right through, so. Seeing 15. All right. You guys don't have to sit and wait for the 15 minutes. You guys can just wait for a, a literally a screen dissolve. Ah. Oh yeah. All right, there she is. She's a bubbling. Looks good. Got a little brown, a little darkness around the outside. And of course, this is going to be uh, molten lava hot, so I'm going to let it sit for probably a good 10 minutes at least, maybe a little longer. Let it set. And then we're going to cut it, eat it. All right, so I actually put the lid back on just so that the uh, noodles on top would kind of steam a little bit. So let's, uh, let's crack this sucker open. I also wanted to mention too, I left this out. Uh, the directions said to, um, to do it at a higher temperature, 375, but for only 20 minutes. But that was for a 9 by 13 pan. I did this 45 and then 15 because it's, uh, because it's in a Dutch oven, so. I need a fork. I'm gonna need a spoon. Man, I'd love to have a big piece of garlic bread right now, but I don't think that's still doing the diet. Although pasta is not really the best on a diet, but I actually didn't skip lunch today. I just had a protein drink. Come on out. came out in a pretty big uh, nice big one piece all right wow keep kicking the well there she goes I put some uh, Parmesan cheese. Black pepper. Alright. Let's 
give it a taste. There you go. Don't want to burn my mouth. Doesn't taste too bad. Mm -hmm. There you go. Bite might be a little bit big, but. Sweet. I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'll bring it back. Alrighty, well, needless to say, wow, it's fine until I got up. <clears throat> uh, good stuff. I think I should have added a little bit more moisture to the sauce. Um, but other than that, you know, minor detail, you know, it was good. Good stuff. As always, I thank you for watching. Um, saw how easy it was to make. Pretty tasty. I will link, uh, the playlist for canned iron cooking down in the description along with show light a and the cast iron cooking channel and as always i thank you for watching again and we'll catch you in the next one